Welcome to A Fables A Day, in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables A Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 29, Frankenstein vs. the Wolfman, part 2 of War Stories, in which two universal monsters layeth the smacketh down. Oh yeah, we get to see Big B versus Frankenstein's monster, or Rolf Frankenstein, agent of Hitler. Interspersed between the fight, the members of Dog Company are in a firefight themselves to keep their escape door open before going to find Sergeant Harp. Meanwhile, Big B is captured at Silver Bullet Point, which we learned that the Nazis had all of this planned out so they can get lycanthropy from Big B. You know, kind of like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen's plot, only with more Nazis. However, Sergeant Harp saves the day, but dies in the process, only to have Bigby promise to get his men home. And Bigby does, revealing his secret to the remaining three members of Dog Company to get them home. Jumping back to the present, Bigby gives the book to Buffkin to file, and then visits Frankenstein, or rather the head of the monster, which is still alive and well, in a cage somewhere in the behemoth business office. We end on Bigby saying goodbye to Duffy's gravestone. While the first part was very Sergeant Rock, this was very much Sergeant Rock mixed with Wolfman fighting Frankenstein. It really is that simple. While this is mostly just a fluff tale, it's the good kind of filler where we get to see Bigby being awesome and showing that he's not as big bad as everyone really treats him as. While I call this and other one or two parters fillers, these breaks in the main story are great to build the universe and the characters, and it gives me a bit of an emotional break. But tomorrow we dive right back into the thick of things.